And here's the final big difference between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. You know, I've been asked by the media, I've been attacked by the Harris campaign because I believe in a very simple principle, that our tax policy ought to reward American workers and American businesses, and I know Donald Trump agrees. So here, here is the contrast here. Donald Trump wants to cut your taxes. Donald Trump wants to cut taxes on American businesses hiring American workers, and he wants to raise tariffs on the Chinese and everybody who's trying to rely on Chinese slave labor instead of American hardworking people. And Kamala Harris wants to raise your taxes and cut down on the tariffs that are making it harder for people to cheat and use Chinese labor instead of American workers. It's ridiculous. Why don't we make it easier to hire American and harder to rely on Chinese slave labor? That's the Donald Trump approach, and I know every single person here agrees with it. So let me leave you with one final thought here, and then I want to kick it over to um, our illustrious media to ask some questions. It's very simple, my friends. Look, we have the best country in the entire world. I've been flying... I've, uh, I've been flying all over the country, doing events like this all over the country with my beautiful wife. Isn't she lovely? Sorry to embarrass you, Usha, but... You bring your wife to Erie, Pennsylvania, you gotta embarrass her a little bit, right? And all I can think about when we fly into a new place or we drive to a new place is what a beautiful country this is. And I'm, I'm a Buckeye, and yesterday I was in Big Rapids, Michigan, and, I, and it was hard to admit it, but Big Rapids, Michigan is a beautiful place. Erie, Pennsylvania is a beautiful place. We have got the best natural resources and the most beautiful countryside of any country on the face of the earth. And we've got something better than that. We've got the best history. We've got the best traditions. We have got the best workers right here in Pennsylvania. The only thing, thank you. The only thing that is broken about this country is its leadership. There is nothing that we cannot do as a people, nothing that we cannot do as a people. So let's send a message right here in Erie, Pennsylvania, all over the state of Pennsylvania and all over the country. We are sick of the broken leadership of Kamala Harris. We're gonna get a president who is equal to the challenge of this country and deserves to be the leader of its people. That's Donald J. Trump. And together, we're gonna put him back in the White House. God bless you all.